What is up, guys? I'm Zoff. I'm Rob. I'm Brace. And this is Real Time. Terror coming back at you with another movie for 25 Days of Movies for December. Super excited for this one. Grave of the Fireflies, uh, Studio Ghibli. That is super fun. Obviously, we watched Spirited Away. And I think one other one, right? On the channel? Or was it just Spirited Away? I believe it was just Spirited Away. It was a great movie, though. Obviously, some of the best uh, art, some of the best... Like, just the creativity, just the look of these movies are so good. I can't wait to watch this one. I do know that this is, yeah, this is definitely going to be one of the sadder movies we watch. This one's based off World War II, a lot of stuff, a lot of events that happen there. It's going to be crazy to see, like, a World War II, like, scenario in, in the Studio Ghibli form. Um, I'm sure it'll be very neat to watch, sad, of course. Uh, Maybe a tearjerker. I've I've seen other people react to it, and they were definitely jerking tears off. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, I'm I'm really really excited for this movie. Spirited Away is one of my favorite just films. I think we've watched on the channel. I really loved that movie, and I know Studio Ghibli. Ghibli is it Ghibli or Ghibli? Pretty sure it's. Ghibli. I hear people say. It. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Studio Ghibli Ghibli has like. I'm not pretty sure. I've like I know their art style is very unique. We've talked about it before, and I've only seen one of their films so far. So I'm looking forward to watching this for the first time. None of us have seen this, just to just to clarify. But yeah, this is an older movie. Like Zuff said, I'm pretty sure gonna be very, extremely sad, just based off of the events that it's gonna be discussing. Always sad um, when so when they talk about these stories and. Um, I'm sure people are going to be dying and stuff, so it's going to be sad. But nonetheless, I'm looking forward to watching this one. I've I've heard great things about it. I've seen um, people say this is like very emotional. So you know how we get on this channel, we get emotional. Tears will be flowing probably. So um, looking forward to it. Yeah, this is actually one of the few Ghibli movies that I haven't seen. There's only a couple, and this is one of them. I'm really glad to finally be scratching it off checking it off the list of movies to watch um i do know a little bit about this going into it uh, i know that it, it is like a short it was a short story um that someone wrote and it is a, a fiction like a fictitious story but it was inspired by real events that happen in the author's life so it is somewhat based about his life and things that happened to him but it is still at the end of the day a work of fiction um but it'll be interesting to think about that while watching it. Um, I'm really excited. I haven't seen, I don't think we've watched an animated movie this old. It's from 1988. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but I think this might be the oldest animated movie we watched on the channel. And uh, I'm excited. I really love the Ghibli style, and I think this one's going to be really great. If you guys do like our videos, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Check out our links in the description. The first one is going to be the Patreon. We do all of our uncut videos over there, as well as early access. Our second link is going to be the Discord. Come talk to us about all the movies and TV shows we do over there. We have a great community. And lastly, follow our social medias and our second channel and P.O. Box. Make sure you send us some stuff, like all the stuff behind us. And yeah, we're going to go right into a special movie for December and the 25 days of movies. This one is Grave of the Fireflies. Let's get into it. September 21st, 1945. That was the night I died. Jeez. Oh, we have a dead man talking to us? So this is in English? Yeah, the movie is in English, yeah. but it takes place in Japan. I was just wondering because I that sounded like English. You're wise. You recognize it. <laughs> you understood it. That's the language that I know. This one's a goner too. Are they just are those kids just He's dead? Guys. I don't or know they're if just anybody's sick? dead here. What is it? Good form. You can tell he's a pitcher. Fireflies. Yo. Fire girl. Where did she come from? Where are these people coming from? This is the boy from the beginning, I think. The that... one who said that he died. Oh my god. 
That is terrifying. I had better get over to the shelter. So be careful, Seda, and get over there as soon as you can. Seda. Satsuko? And Satsuko. Oh no. That's terrible. Like, you're just living in constant fear. It's horrifying. What is that noise? Oh my god. That's crazy. They drop like Molotovs. Already just everything's on fire. Why isn't he running? I don't know, I'm just in shock, I guess. It's absolute chaos. And he's just a kid. Oh my god. Non stop, like barrage of just fire. I mean, look at the entire coast, it's all fire. That's crazy. Oh my god, dude. Is there a baby crying? Yep. Oh my god. Look at that. It's just, just flattened. Like, there's nothing left. You see that body right there? Yep. Is that a yep, there was a kid there. Yeah. Doing a good job portraying a war movie. Okay. I'm feeling their mom's probably not alive. Yeah, most likely. Is that the mom? No. Oh, oh yeah, back there. I thought the woman helping the little girl. You meant? Oh no, no it's not. guess not. Seta has to go somewhere. We'll wait for him together. Uh, there's just no way mom's okay. Uh. Oh, God, oh, bro. Oh, my God. Get her medicine. Uh, I'll find out. And she doesn't look too good. Better that she doesn't see mama. Yeah, I don't... She, she should not see her. I can't even believe Seta saw her and, like, is functioning still. He is a tough, tough kid. Oh, God. Oh, oh my fucking God, bro. This heat we're having, she'll have to go on the truck today. There's a bunch of maggots on her? She's, this can't be a good sign. I mean, she's, she's dead, like... That's that's crazy. Mama, where's Mama? What's she mama? is dead. Yeah, yeah, she's still sick. Welcome back. See, this is just so tough. I, I, yeah, he. How was your mother? He can't be older than like sixteen. Hmm. <laughs> this is what he was burying before they left. Mm. At his house. That's right. Smart. That. Water. Get a little rinse going, Seda. That looks yummy. I'm actually going to take a sip. Today, I'd like to tell your mother all the. He hasn't even told her. To take sets, go along to visit her. Is that her? Awful. Well, you'd best write your father and tell him. <laughs> well, Auntie moved on pretty fast. <laughs> yeah. What are those things? Like jelly beans. 
Fruit oh, drop. It's the thing in the container. Yeah, that we found. they mean so much though. It's like the the main symbol to her. It's like her favorite little snack. I guess it was about 10 days ago. Change. There should have been a reply by now. The father's dead. Yeah, I mean, it looked like he was in the military from the picture we saw from of him in the beginning. He's in the Navy. Did she like a rash or something? Yeah, why it was on her back. That feels good, right? You won't itch now. Maybe like a hot flash or what is that? Like she said she was hot in the shelter. It's a big bag. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to allow myself to get too happy. Get him. She's gonna get pinched. Oh, that's a body. What's wrong? Is he sleeping? Oh, that is. No. Oh, oh shit, good dude, they're right there. Looks like they're bombing the ocean. Let them just go to waste. Oh, why don't I take them for you? I don't know if I like Auntie. No. Oh, no, no. The mysterious ghost Sado. Well, they got the rice. Does Setsuka know about the mom? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. We'll have rice balls for lunch. Just hold on until then. You stop that. Lunch too. You think a lazy slug like you deserves the same as people who are working so hard? What the fuck? This rice you want? No, you don't. Bro. She is twisted. I even give you some rice and you still come. I mean they gave up their mother's belongings. There's a new rule. From now on we'll make our own dinners. How do you like that? They're kids. You have other relatives in Tokyo, don't you? Some people on your mother's side of the family. Why not write to them? I don't know where to find them. She, no, she is an evil person. That is ridiculous. Cats and dogs. It's raining cats and dogs. She holding the umbrella. <laughs> Not the best umbrella, uh -huh. but it, it'll work, I guess. Where are they gonna go? Should do it. Fire. Right. They're still home. They're making their own meals, though. Not again. Santa, please. That man and my daughter work hard for our nation all day long. Crying, keeping them awake. We've enough trouble getting any sleep with all of these air raids. He's the worst. The ante is the worst. Yeah, like, they're literally getting bombed. Why do we need a villain? It's, like, already horrible enough. And they're just, like, the shitty ant. Yeah, see, like, he sees himself. I wish she wasn't so mean. Anthony's gonna yell at him. 
it. You should be working. Dude, I don't. I don't even think he's. I think he's like young. Stop it. Yeah, he's probably like twelve. Don't you realize that there is a war going on? You two are nothing but trouble. Yes, that's what you are. You're no help during the raids. Take, take that shelter for all I care. And what the hell are they supposed to do in the middle of a raid to help you? I mean, one of them is looks like a toddler. Is it? Yeah, she's like three. It seems sturdy enough, and we can live just like we want to. Can we leave now? You're leaving? For where? Haven't really decided yet. Well then, you two, bye-bye. <laughs> Take care of yourselves. Goodbye. Good riddance. Deuces. Do you think you can sell my sister and I a little bit of food and maybe a bail? Oh, there's not much left, though. <laughs> <laughs> there's gonna be another air raid. Oh, God, yeah, dude. The I feel like it happens all the time. And like, it's honestly the first thing I thought of once they said they were going to live here. Like, they live underground, sort of. Like, that place could co just collapse if there was a bomb there. You better get under the mosquito net now. But th that they're using those places. Those are shelters, right? So like, that's where you're supposed to go. I think go. that yeah, place but, is safer than other yeah, places. Probably. Look, a kamikaze. Isn't that like a? Yeah. A kamikaze is a plane that blows up itself, right? I think so. I can see. That's what they use to light up the room. That's cool. Data is a creative guy. Always full of ideas. <laughs> That's cool. That's unique. Yeah, I think they all just die, right? I didn't know that. They don't have anything, like, they're probably just don't have anything to eat or anything. <clears throat> she making a grave for the fireflies? Mama's in a grave, too. Yep, that's the grave of the fireflies right there. Oh, he didn't know that she knew. Oh. There's nothing left to trade. Please, I can pay you good money for the rice. Mm. Sell anything to you. I'm a farmer, but I'm afraid even I don't have any rice to share. They like ran out. Nobody has it anymore. Don't you have any other relatives to help you? Give them. Then take my advice and just go back to the woman. No. Everything's rationed now. You can't survive outside of. Just swallow your pride and apologize. You didn't do anything wrong. Look out! Oh my god. What? They stumbled upon some food right here, though, right? These tomatoes? Yeah. They should grab all these apples. Those are like tomatoes. tomatoes. Apples growing on the vine. Ugh. I feel my insides feel really funny. Are you cold? Does she, does she have like chicken pox or something? Like, what does she have? 
wanted to get her some sugar. I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, sure. Ah, Stealing ah, food ah, is a serious oh. crime in wartime. Oh. I'll never do it again. I swear. I promise you'll never see me again. Tell it to the cops. No. Now walk. I hope Please. they lock you up for the rest of the war. Please. She's sick. She needs... I mean, what? Did, she can't be by herself. She's literally just a little baby, bro. Like, how can you do that? I'm even tempted to call it a soul. Oh. Should I get a doctor for you, Santa? Well, if it hurts, I can help you. I think they just have to get back with the ante. Yeah, at this point, like, she's super sick, man. Oh my, is that oh, him? Yeah. Is he just in somebody's house right just now? Just getting food. Might be the ant's house. While they're getting aerated. I think she's just like malnourished, bro. Like I I don't think they eat very often. She's a little kid. Jesus Christ. When it's airing, he goes and tries to get stuff. Yeah. Because everyone goes to the shelter, probably. I just feel like one of these times, she's not going to be okay anymore. Where did she go? Bro. What happened? Oh my god. Let's go. Dude, she needs... Like, I don't know, food? Medicine? Something? <laughs> they need to go back to the aunties. Oh, dude, come on. Weakening from malnutrition is typical. Probably due to diarrhea. Next patient. Can't you give her medicine or? I don't want a shot. Please, doctor, you have to help her. Medicine, please. Give her some medicine. All this. Ch that ice? Yeah, just like ice shavings. So she can get water. I'm going to go buy you some good nourishing food. No, I don't want you guys to separate. No. I'll never ever leave you again. Never ever. I promise. At least leave her with Auntie. Not in the shelter all by herself. Uh, so you haven't heard, young man. The Great Japanese Empire? Yeah. Surrendered unconditionally. All gone. The whole fleet's been sent to the bottom of the sea. Mm, that's what? his dad. So too? Do you know? Please, tell me, is that why he hasn't written me back? How the hell should I know? Crazy kid. Damn him. She looks so sick. Yeah. She's malnourished. He doesn't have any food. I'll go ahead and start making up some rice. I 
bought us some chicken. And I also have... Hmm? What are those? In your mouth. Like buttons or something. This is a marble. It isn't a drop. I brought you something really special. I know that you're going to like it. Bro, I just want him to whip up some food and just give her it. It's a rock. Baseball. She's been carrying those around the whole time, I think, right? Has she been like eating that? Hold on to this. And I'll go make her some rice gruel with egg. I feel like it's just too late. Like she she doesn't even know what's going on anymore. She never woke up. Oh Dude. That's fucking... That's so fucked up. Dude, they were so close. It's looking like everyone's back to, to normal again. Yeah, the war's over. How did he die? I don't know. I mean, his whole family's dead. Maybe she was getting sick from eating all the stuff she made. This morning, I put some of Setsuko's ashes into the candy tin, and then climbed down the hill. I never went back. Um, that was a, a fantastic movie. Super sad. Um, it did live up to all the the sad comments, but it was definitely a good watch. Um, very, very entertaining. I enjoyed it. I think it was just as good as uh, Spirit Away. They were both fantastic. I mean, this one had somewhat of a, a true story lingering behind it, like... It was based off true events so it's super sad to even think like that went on over there and just it's just hard and the story of Seda I mean I just like it just sort of roots from how I don't know they had got super unlucky with how fucking um mean the ante was just sort of sends them away and just and they lived on their own and i don't know it was just everything was 
happy for a bit, then sad. I mean, it was just mostly sad, but it was happy. It, I was happy to see them living in the shelter, just the two of them, both sort of a peace, of, like with peace of mind. And then it did this, the hunger started. It was just so bad. Uh, definitely the main cause of Seda's death, or not Seda, Setsuka's death. I mean, it was just a super sad uh, movie. Not really a happy ending either, uh, but I did really enjoy it. Yeah, I feel like this movie is just tragic. Like, there's not much you can pull out of it that's, like, good. You can't be like, well, at least this... Ha-. Like, no. This boy lost his whole entire family, including his baby sister, um, when it was his mission the whole time to take care of her and stuff, feed her. I mean, it was he was so close. He, was, he did so well, as, as best as he could and it was just the war was over and but it was just too late honestly and um like i said tragic uh, i'm sure this is just one story i mean uh, yeah obviously um pretty si- like similar events took place but i'm sure a ton of people were affected by things like this um not just in, at this time period but also just in war in general um and it's just Uh, Shining the light on like these two characters specifically, I think kind of Open makes you open your eyes a bit more because they they were just kids like they were it was a a kid taking care of a a baby pretty much like he had no right to be that Given that responsibility during this time, Um, but he did and he stepped up as best that he could and it just it just wasn't enough I guess in the end and it's it's so sad i mean i don't i don't know what else to say other than it's just tragic like i just i wish it was different but it wasn't and that's just this is what it is i guess yeah i i thought this movie was incredible i honestly i was i wasn't super super sad until like the last 10 minutes and then it felt like it just kind of hit me all at once uh the flashbacks of seeing like her playing while he would go out and get the food and everything like that crushed me and then seeing him like stay the whole day until the fire burned out also just absolutely destroyed me i i feel like this movie was directed very well and there's so many scenes that felt so intentional and just like hit really hard um the one i am thinking of obviously it started out with like him and him saying like I died this day and that was like wow that's crazy but um one scene that I was like that was just made very well was when it was showing her like saying thank you and falling asleep and he you just hear him say and she never woke up and that oh my god I feel like that was probably the like most brutal way to reveal her death was just hearing him say that in my opinion I don't know that was just really hard to watch um honestly don't know if i ever want to watch this movie again just because it is so sad and i feel like i would find it way more sad watching it back again just like knowing what was gonna happen i feel like if if i were to watch this again seeing a lot of those scenes where seita and setsuko are like watching themselves in a way that would just i feel like destroy me because i didn't exactly i had an idea of what was going on but Um, It makes a lot more sense, like, looking back after you finish the movie. But, uh, yeah, this one, I don't know, felt a lot different than other Ghibli movies just because it was so real. Like, it it just felt like a real story that happened to real people. Um, And, yeah, definitely one of the heavier movies, I feel like, that we've watched. Definitely, like, probably the the heaviest animated movie, I think, that we've watched. Uh, But very glad that we watched it regardless yeah if you like our videos make sure you like comment subscribe check out our links in the description get the patreon the discord and all of our social medias as well as our po box and second channel yeah we'll catch you guys next time for our next movie peace out